Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forms.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Malwarebytes, the installation, the configuration, and the uses of this software for the protection of your computer from security threats. Malwarebytes also offers a consumer version with proactive protection. While this proactive protection module may not seem important, it actually is quite useful and is much better than the original free product that Malwarebytes offers. Remember, Malwarebytes is freeware, but it only offers reactionary protection. The proactive protection in the Malwarebytes consumer version is excellent, and we're going to look at both. First, we're going to go and download Malwarebytes. The best way to do this is to go to your web browser and go to Google. You can type in Malwarebytes, make sure that's spelled right and malwarebytes.org will be the website that you're looking for. Now you can either go to download now or buy now. We suggest if you want to buy the full version, use our link below. It will help us pay for our server costs, making new videos, providing you with service for windows7forms.com and so forth. However, you don't have to do that. You can simply go to this page and buy it from them. Either way, you're buying it from them no matter what, except uh, we would get something like a commission for it. All right. So far, no one has actually done that, buy it from us, but whatever. Uh, that's not the point of this video. It's actually to really show you what the software does. I'm going to go ahead, because I already have a copy on my machine, I'm going to double click on it here, the installer. I'm going to install the English version, and I'm going to go to Next. And I'm going to accept the license agreement. I'm going to click on Next. There are some issues fixed in this version. I'm pretty sure it's an older version. I'm going to click on next here again, installed in the default location. I'm going to create a start menu icon, that's fine, a desktop icon, don't use the quick launch toolbar anymore, and I'm going to go to install. Now the installation process begins, it should be fairly quick, but it can take some time on an older system, and we have the great option here in the installer to update Malwarebytes when we start it. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're connecting to the server, we have a lot to download as far as updates. And we're seeing a message here. What does this say? The latest version of malware by anti malware has been downloaded. It will now close and install the latest version. So we go through the whole process again. And we go ahead and install the latest one because our executable was old. And see, we have even more issues fixed here. So we want to go to next. And we go ahead and do the same thing again. And now we're really installing, hopefully, the latest version here. And we're going to update it again. And we had it load twice for some reason, we don't need that. And now you'll see it connecting to the server. It's downloading new definition files here. We have the latest. And let's see what's going on. Well, now we have a trial of the full version. I actually have a registered copy of the full version, but I'm gonna start the trial here. And Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is now protecting your system actively. Now you may ask yourself, why do I need this program? What does it do differently from other programs and other antivirus programs? You may say to yourself, I already have malware, I already have ESET Smart Security, or I already have AVG, or I already have Microsoft Security Essentials. Well, this product functions as an additional tool uh, to get rid of the malware, which can include viruses from your system. Uh, it has its own separate database information, its own quarantine, its own logs, uh, and it's well known for getting rid of threats that are normally very difficult to get rid of, even with a traditional antivirus. A lot of viruses, worms, and trojans are designed uh, to sort of fool the existing antivirus a uh, applications and services. Uh, this program is kind of designed stealthily to get rid of that. And what the proactive protection does, this is actually what you're paying for when you buy the product. This actually goes ahead and stops you. What it does is it blocks malicious website activity. It has IP protection. Even if you're, ha you're connecting to an outbound IP using Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Skype or some sort of program, it blocks that from its list because it knows that this is a bad, bad IP address. It's being used for abuse by scammers and spammers. It's going to put uh, dirty cookies on your system and all sorts of stuff. Well, we'll perform the quick scan now and show you how that works. But note, once you have the uh, active protection enabled. You don't really need to do the quick scan because you're already getting the protection that you need. Yeah, nothing was found, but we had a whole bunch of scans, and you'll see how quickly that happened. Memory was scanned, startup was scanned, 
we had some extra heuristic scans going on. Uh, there's additional settings here as well. We can terminate Internet Explorer if we see something terrible going on, or if the program does. Uh, normally it'll just tell you that it's blocking it. We have a tool called File Assassin, and it helps you delete locked files. Now files become locked when they're in use by the operating system, but File Assassin will prevent that. That's a little unique tool that's available, uh, especially when some sort of malware or virus locks a file and you need to get rid of it. Now one, one benefit of this program is that it can be run in Windows Safe Mode, so that's a way to get rid of malware a lot easier uh, if you run it in Safe Mode. But ultimately this is what the program does, and it will protect your system in a way. It's an added protection. Well, even if you use the freeware version, I highly recommend it. Visit us at windows7forums.com for further information. You can purchase the software using the download link below, or simply use the freeware version. However, by purchasing the full version, you will have uh, a level of protection that is really unprecedented on your machine. You'll never really have to worry about uh, serious threats to your machine by browsing the web. There's file execution level blocking and a protection module that uh, complements any sort of antivirus that you may already have on your system. Thanks for watching this video.